As we get ready for the Independence Day holiday weekend, AAA predicts a record number of travelers. In Virginia, most people who are traveling will hit the roads, and state police are warning people to drive safely. So far, traffic deaths are trending down. And all new at 5, Eugene Daniel breaks down the data ahead of your holiday road trip. Just in time for holiday travel, a new report shows traffic deaths are down across the nation. According to the U.S. Transportation Department, roughly 9,300 people died in collisions in the first three months of this year. That's down about 300 deaths from the same time last year. And it's the fourth straight quarter of decline after traffic deaths reached historic highs in the pandemic. Just preparing and planning beforehand is really just how you can, can set yourself up for success. Ryan Adcock is a spokesman for AAA Tidewater Virginia. He says the agency expects 1.3 million Virginians to travel for the long holiday weekend, most of them by car. Virginia and North Carolina both saw dips in traffic deaths. Still almost 200 people in the Commonwealth have died on the roads from January to March of this year. The most prevalent are alcohol related, speed related, and people not wearing their seatbelts. In that span, Hampton Roads led all regions with 47 deadly crashes. With more people coming to the area for the holiday, Adcock encourages drivers to be extra alert behind the wheel. In general, be kind and forgiving to everyone out there on the road because everyone is obviously trying to get to where they're going safely and alive. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. Though the numbers are falling, data shows this is the second deadliest start to a year on the roads nationwide in a decade.